day out and saying here from Wayne Killer Ford down at Chrissy Beach in Adelaide. This was a quick video of our 2013 300 Chrysler uh, in the LX. Lovely car, one owner, full service history. Uh, as I say, 2013, which gives you the update. So it is the eight speed automatic and uh, also does give you a few more bells and whistles as well. The larger chrome grill at the front, you've got fog lights, headlight washers out the grill, and you've got front and rear sensors. And uh, the car does have white white premium plates on the vehicle as well. Coming around, you've got the larger 20 inch alloy wheels, just a, uh, a black gloss finish, um, and uh, good tyres all around with around about 80% on all four. Very straight, clean car, no marks, no chip scratches, um, no shopping centre dents or anything like that along the doors, and, uh, and the chrome mirrors are in very good condition overall. Very nice Hugo, chrome door handles all the way around. Plenty of chrome and really makes this car a stylish car. I'll get someone to come around a little bit on the back end just to show you the rear of the car. As you can see, badge the 300C, chrome garnish along the bottom there. Rear sensors, there's also a rear camera just on the tailgate above the badge. And then you've got a button for the boot, which really does give you a huge amount of boot space and actually surprising for the car. There's even shopping centre bag anchors on the sides, or, uh, or cargo anchors there. And there is a cargo boot mat in the, uh, in the rear uh, as well. Coming around, 75,000 Ks on the car. As I say, it's an immaculately presented car. Uh, very well looked after, very well maintained its entire life. Uh, it was originally a South East car, uh, so we traded the vehicle uh, here at Wainfields Ford on a Mustang. So uh, the previous owner, was uh, middle-aged and very much looked after this car inside and out. The overall presentation definitely tells the story. So I'll get Simon just to come around. As you can see there, the interior inside the vehicle, passenger seat uh, is immaculate. The, uh, there's no wear and tear, no, um, uh, no tear marks, no uh, excessive rub marks or anything like that in the leather. Nice and soft and supple. And the uh, driver's seat and the passenger seat are both electric adjust. So what I'll show you is just down the bottom here, Simon, you can see there, you've got the electric adjustment. So you've got forwards and backwards, which is also an up and a down. And then you've got your back adjustment there with a lumbar adjustment support there as well. On both driver and passenger, it really does give a, uh, a very comfortable, luxurious feel in the vehicle. So as you can see there on the back seat, again, much the same story. I'll just go around the other side, Simon, you stay there. And barely, uh, barely sat in, to be honest. Uh, not being a chauffeur vehicle or anything like that, which a lot of these are, um, and tend to have that excessive wear in the back seat. These are a, a very well maintained, almost uh, immaculate vehicle, uh, especially in the back side. So you've got a uh, center fold down armrest, dual cup holders there, with a bit of storage up underneath there as well. The rear also features heated seats in the back end on both sides. And then you've got a rear shade uh, on the back window, which is all electric and also can be controlled from the front, uh, which just shades the back seats completely for either a bit of privacy or alternatively to get that extra uh, UV protection. Now, I'll get someone to come around to the driver's side now. The doors are actually a touch lock and unlock. On the driver's side, you can see very well uh, established and presented interior. You've got a tortoise shell uh, wood grain uh, coupled with a bit of chrome. All electrics, electric windows, all four electric mirrors with an electric fold mirror function there as well. Inside the car, I'll actually get Simon just to sit in the vehicle. To the right of the steering wheel just below, you've got the automatic.